Okay, so welcome to another two minute tutorial and this is a real nice quick one for you. I'm going to show you how I hand glaze my beads. Now these are the beads that were in my last two minute tutorial and I have used the sprays that I have made which was on another tutorial. Today I'm going to be using triple sec and a paintbrush to paint the glaze on my beads. So I've mounted it onto a cocktail stick for easy application and what you'll notice when you look at your beads when you've rolled them is that sometimes there are slight gaps depending on the paper that you've used sometimes there's going to be ridges and what your glaze will do if you apply it um, in such a way it will help to smooth out those ridges so I'm applying the glaze from the inside outwards and I am in effect pushing that glaze into the paper I'm pushing it into all those little cracks those little crevices those little grooves call them what you will and um, I'm just filling them up with glaze now this first layer is not about creating a beautiful glossy finish this first layer is about establishing a nice base for your subsequent layers to go on so again i've turned the bead over and i'm going to work in a downwards manner which is going to help to fill in all of those um, ridges with the glaze so just working my way down making sure i completely cover my bead and once you get going with these once they're all mounted it really doesn't take that long to glaze your beads so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take off the excess glaze because we want this layer to be quite a thin layer. So pop the excess glaze off and then you can pop it to dry. And once that is dry, you can apply subsequent layers. Now this glaze dries fairly quick, so you could probably do another coat within about sort of 10 to 15 minutes. But you can see what a difference just one layer of glaze has. And I like hand glazing them because I think you can really get into all the nooks and crannies. So that was a quick two minute tutorial for you. I hope you enjoyed it. There will be more of them coming and I will also be doing more longer tutorials. So remember to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and you'll be notified as soon as a new one pops up. Thanks very much for joining. Uh, leave a comment in the box below if you've got any ideas for what you would like me to do a quick tutorial on. Speak to you soon.